What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. And before we start today's video, I actually have a question for you. Do you guys like going second and breaking boards? Do you guys like summoning big monsters on your side of the field and pushing for a game? Do you guys like making rank eight monsters and level 10 synchros to do so? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, then this is the deck for you. In today's video, we're going to be showing off eight axis, which pretty much means we're going to be summoning level eight monsters and then using them to make level 10 synchros with a brand new tuner that just came out. That's absolutely insane for this deck. And we can also make rank eight monsters, which help us break boards in OTK. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do combo videos, deck profiles, dual replays. Plus, you guys are going to get a short five days a week. So you guys are going to get more than five videos a week so to stay tuned to all that all you guys got to do is subscribe so if you guys enjoyed today's video i, I really do hope you guys enjoyed because this deck is super fun and this deck is absolutely insane so let's slot waste any more time and get right into it so to get things started with your normal summon of the deck, this is the only normal summon of the deck. However, it's so powerful. It's three Deep Sea Diva. This card is insane because once it's normal summon, you can special summon another level three or lower Sea Serpent from your deck, which means you get access to a second Diva, which means you now have two level two tuners on the board. And as soon as you get any of your level eights on the board, you essentially have a level 10 synchro, right? Which is really, really powerful. And it's one of the main things this deck wants to do. So of course, this normal summon is one of the most powerful and a very, very very good normal summon for you and then you're playing a lot of level eight monsters that you're going to want to get on the board and this is essentially how the whole game plan is so the entire game plan is to summon level eight monsters with the level twos and so you can make level 10 synchros or make rank eight monsters with the level eights right so we're playing three danger bigfoot and three danger thunderbird now the dangers are insane because these cards do multiple things for you first of all their bodies which is really nice so them being big bodies them being level eights is very very powerful another thing they do is when you activate them from your hand essentially if they get special summon by their own effect you get to draw a card so this is a draw engine for you and then the third thing these cards do really well is when they're discarded to the graveyard they have effects as well right so thunderbird pops any set card your opponent controls bigfoot pops any face up card your opponent controls now that's important because if your opponent has a set monster you can still destroy the set monster same thing with bigfoot if they have a face up spell or trap it destroys that face up spell or trap so these cards do so much for you and paired with trade in which you guys are going to see later it's a draw engine these guys have effects and they help you break boards which is really really insane and then another level eight monster that we're going to be playing and also kind of helps you break boards is three alpha the master of beast this card summons itself onto the field and it's really powerful when it does just having this on the board it's a 3k attack which is insane and it's just one of those things where it helps you just have enough damage on the board to go for game a lot of the times and it outs really problematic things as well and then another level eight that we're playing is three gizmek orochi orochi kind of does the same thing where it's a body it gets itself on the board for you and that's essentially the most important thing that it does right so all of these cards right here essentially synergize really well because all of them want to get themselves on the board once they're on the board you can do a lot of different things with this which is really powerful and a lot of these cards here for example help you break boards gizmek also does in its own way it doesn't come up too often but technically this card can pop cards as well which is really nice and then diva being your best normal summon of the deck and then the last monster that i want to talk about before we move on is three blackwing sharanga the waning moon now this card is the brand new addition to the deck and honestly it's the mvp of the deck so just before i get into what this card does another card you can play instead of the blackwing sharanga is three assault synchron instead but i'm not playing the assault synchron okay so let's move this out of the way this card is really powerful don't get me wrong but we're gonna actually want to play the blackwing sharanga in this one and that's because all of these level eight monsters are higher than 2000 attack so it's super easy to get this card on the board and on top of that it's another level two tuner but this card specifically gives you access to a card in the extra deck which is your blackwing full armor master which is level 10 synchro that is insane now keep in mind this deck wants to go second this deck wants to have more cards in your hand wants to be able to break boards wants to be able to otk right however what do you do if you don't otk you're just gonna have a bunch of bodies that don't do anything for you no you really want to be able to have a play and one of the best plays this deck can make if you're forced to go first or if you don't otk and you have to end on something is a full armor master because essentially you're making full armor master with your blackwind sharanga and then now because of this is on the field sharanga will have its graveyard effect where it's a quick effect pop and this card is now a towers and it's unaffected so this card is insane and the way you get into this card is with your blackwing sharanga and it's an extender for you which is really really powerful and that's why we're playing the three here so that's it essentially for the lineup of monsters where all of your combos are kind of happening.
So moving on, I already talked about earlier how this is a go second deck. It's a deck that wants to break boards, that wants to OTK. And some of the best cards to do that in the game are Kaijus. So we're playing two Gemiseal, two Gadarla, and one Dolgoran. The reason for these ratios essentially are, first of all, because they're all level eights. So you want to play the level eight names. But we're also playing three Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. And that's why we're playing two, two, and one. Essentially, you have three different names that you can summon off Slumber. And Slumber is really powerful because this is just honestly really good into this format, breaking boards and stuff. But even if this gets negated, it baits out a lot of negates that your opponent may have. In the graveyard though you can banish it to search a kaiju which is really nice because essentially it makes it so that you're always going to be able to have a kaiju in any situation in any circumstance and if you draw two kaijus it's also okay because you can now put a kaiju on your opponent's side of the field and then special summon your own kaiju which is now a level eight for you which is really powerful because this one could be a beater like dogaran 3k attack you can combo with your level two tuners to make a level 10 synchro you can make a rank eight with it so these are really powerful and some of the most broken board breakers this deck is playing so we are playing the kaiju package and then speaking of board breakers we're also playing one harpy's feather duster and two lightning storm so these are kind of just more board breakers here because i think going second of course lightning storm is really good into front row it's really good into back row harpy's feather duster is another card that's really good into back row as well so that's why we're playing the harpies in the main i think it's really important to be playing this with this lightning storm thunderbird back row matchup should not be a problem for you at all and then lastly this card is not really a board breaker but it kind of is at the same time it's three infinite impermanent so this is a hand trap of course and it's the only hand trap you're playing but this card essentially can act as a board breaker if you draw this as your sixth card it's absolutely insane if your opponent puts up like a baron and like their full board right let's say they kind of go wide you can go imperm stop the baron right once you negate the baron you can then go kaiju slumber which is broken because it breaks their board or you have a lightning storm which breaks their board so essentially imperm kind of gets rid of the negate that you're worried about and then you can use a breaker to get rid of the rest of the board same thing with the kaijus you can get rid of the one negate and then use a breaker to get rid of the rest of the board right so imperm is really really powerful in this deck as well because going first of course you can set it going second it's a hand trap but you draw as your sixth card it's also a board breaker for you so we're playing a ton of board breakers as you guys can see here Lastly, we're playing a ton of consistency cards. So we're playing three trade-in. Trade-in, of course, is really powerful. You have a lot of level eight targets for it. Also, all of the danger monsters will get effects when you use them for the trade-in. So that's why trade-in is really, really powerful. Getting to draw two is really good. And of course, we want to draw two more. So Pot of Desires, of course, is really powerful. So with the dangers drawing cards, with Pot of Desires drawing cards, with trade-in drawing cards, you're always going to be able to go through your deck. But if you guys thought that wasn't enough, we're actually paying more cards to essentially draw. We're playing three triple tactics talent. Now, because we want to go second, a lot of the decks in today's format the monsters are always going to be activating effects on your turn so when you are forced to go second and let's say you have a board breaker let's say you have something like a slumber and you activate slumber your opponent negates it with one of their monsters okay now you can ttt now what you can do obviously is dependent on what your hand is looking like if you want to draw cards you can draw cards if you want to take a card from your opponent that they control you can do that as well because you are playing some link monsters in the extra deck which you guys will see which means that now you're kind of using this as a board breaker as well and then another card that i'm playing is one change of heart i guess it's technically a board breaker but i kind of wanted it to include it here with the triple tactics because i really like the change of heart effect on the triple tactics in this deck because if you're able to bait out a monster to use its effect right then you use the ttt obviously if you need to draw you can draw but there's a lot of situations where i would rather just take your monster and then i can use it as a link material later so my opponent doesn't get it back so triple tactics plus change of heart is really really powerful it just helps you otk a lot as well so i really really like this engine Moving on to the extra deck here, the first card we are playing is a one Blackwing Full Armor Master. I talked about this card already. This card is absolutely insane. You, of course, want to be playing this card. The fact that your Blackwing Sharanga has a effect in the graveyard where it pops a card quick effect, plus you're going to have a Towers on your side of the board, which is absolutely insane. 3k attack is nothing to mess with either. So that's why, of course, we like playing the one. We also like playing the one Baron. It's the most generic level 10 synchro. It's absolutely broken. As well as one Chengying. Chengying is really good because especially in the mid to late game, if you use your Desires, you use your Gizmek Orochi, this card becomes really really powerful for you so that's why i like playing the one chenging so these are your level 10 synchros that you're going to be going into now for your link monsters i've been playing the one bls of course because you're playing so many high level monsters bls becomes really really powerful then for your generic link twos i'm playing ip and dark now keep in mind dark could be anything ip could be anything i just think these are the most generic cards that you can go into and the most powerful ones keep in mind your dangers your sharanga your gizmak so many of your cards are dark so being able to make the dark is really really powerful that's why i like this card this is pretty much it for the link monsters that you need though because they're all generic which is really powerful and it means that if you use change of heart or ttt you can always go into these which is really really nice then we're playing the one sky calvary centuria this is because you're playing the deep sea diva which can make a rank two on its own and then if you can use this you can essentially go into zeus so that's essentially why you're playing this card it's kind of like just a zeus target then you're playing a bunch of rank eight monsters so dingirsu of course really powerful santa fond is really good into a lot of graveyard decks then we're playing a little otk package so draglubion number 100 number 92 and hope harbinger this is kind of your drag 
dragon package over here that's really really powerful and then lastly we're playing the one lance a lot this card is cool because going into time it can attack directly so if you guys can just make this attack directly and you kind of win in time which is really powerful however this is the last card that i added so i will say this card can be swapped for anything else if you want to play another link monster it could be really powerful if you want to play another level 10 synchro i will say though if you guys are not playing this play another link monster over anything else but i think this card is really good because if you are going into time it's just another win button for you which is really really nice but that's it for the extra deck 15 cards over here Lastly, moving on to the side deck over here, keep in mind this deck does a really good job at going second, so you really want to be able to play cards going first, and some of these cards that I'm going to show you are insane in this deck going first. So three anti-spell. Anti-spell is really good, even though you guys saw we're playing a lot of spell cards. When you're siding, assuming that you're going to go first, you just side out your slumbers, your lightning storms, your harpies. So you're siding out pretty much all of your spells or all the power spells, and then you're going to be siding in this, which is really, really powerful into a lot of decks, right? So anti-spell is insane. Same thing with three skill drain. Skill drain is very, very powerful because keep in mind, all of your monsters are going to be summoning themselves from the hand or the graveyard in Gizmex case and then you're going to have beaters on your side of the field so if you have like three 3k beaters on the board under a skill drain your opponent is probably not going to be able to out that board so that's why skill drain is so powerful another card that's really powerful in this deck is three there can be only one now keep in mind all of the dangers all of the other monsters have different types so your alpha is a beast your thunderbird is a winged beast your Gizmex is a machine your kaijus are different as well right so there can be only one is just a blowout against so many different decks and so for that reason you guys can see all of these cards are just blowouts against everything that they're going to be sided into right so just seeing a blowout is just absolutely insane another blowout card in this format and then moving into dune format which is next format as well is 3d barrier d barrier against mandium is insane infernoble is going to be getting a lot of support so d barrier into infernoble is absolutely insane there's just so many decks that d barrier is good into so that's why i'm like playing the three and then lastly i'm just playing three cosmic cyclone i know we have a lot of back row hate but that labyrinth deck is really annoying and cosmic cyclone is just really good into them but technically this could be anything else this could be another go second card if you guys want it to be i just really like the cosmic cyclones but keep in mind most of the side deck is for when you are forced to go first because that's where this deck struggles right like if you're able to go first and end on like a full armor master plus one or two of these floodgates you're winning the game you're absolutely winning the game right so that's why i think these floodgates are really really important so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on eight axes for today's format now you guys can see this deck is made up of the most broken level eight monsters that you guys can be playing cards like bigfoot and thunderbird to break board you have lightning storm and all the power spells to do so as well and then you have all of your extenders you have alpha you have your gizmec and you're just gonna be summoning so many big bodies and the fact that this deck can make blackwing full armor master as well is absolutely insane so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do up to a full 10 videos because you guys are gonna get five shorts at least a week and then you guys are also gonna get deck profiles combo videos do replays and all that good stuff so i hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.